Hey guys and welcome back to my channel, I'm Lady Swayton and we're back with the parenthood gameplay thingamajigger. Uh, right now we have Macy teaching Aubrey some basic needs with the flashcards because toddler stage there isn't much to do when it comes to the parenthood pack so uh, since this is the last skill she needs up to level 3 and then she'll get the happy toddler trait when she ages up we're going to have a birthday party for little Aubrey tomorrow but we're also possibly going to have another child so that'll be quite fun so we'll still have the whole fun cutesy toddler stuff to do with the next child but it'll be a bit more interesting with Aubrey aged up uh, that didn't work you didn't get your skill woman Ugh, okay you play with blocks get your skill up you probably need some stuff to no you're quite happy but you need to write your column so you can do that for your work uh, right column there we go you do that you probably yeah you are getting a bit hungry so we'll go over here and we've got a stanky dish that we need to get rid of goodbye and do we have anything in the fridge for little one? Oh, we have plenty for you to pick from so you can have some of that once you've finished with your blockage uh, i've been trying to play with my audio a bit to fix it because i've noticed in my videos that um when i'm editing it the volume's like super low so i have to turn it up really high in editing which is a bit annoying and some people can't hear my videos when they're on like mobile devices and stuff so still playing with the audio still trying to get that right so if the game audio is a bit too loud i'll adjust it in the next one so on and so forth uh but yes i'm glad to finally be back recording just uploaded two videos one is out now and one will be scheduled and when i say out now i mean today for me which is saturday i don't know when this video is going to come out possibly tuesday would make sense it'd be cool if i could do two uploads a day but i won't be able to even stick to one upload every single day probably because my life's just blah, 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 blah. and uh, yeah hope you guys understood what that meant oh i didn't realize we had the birth certificate that's cute and we have a parenting book which i forgot we had what level are you in parenton any parenting parenting i can't speak Four. So that book probably is useless now, but that's cool. We'll hold on to that. How are you doing, little munchkin? Come on. This is the last skill we need, and then we can have a birthday. I've just spent hours and hours in your friend's house over the way, and the Buda family is getting them ready to be aged up as well. So, because they're technically older than Aubrey, so they should be aged up first. Which is, I guess, we'll just have a massive joint birthday for everyone. But yeah, this part of the episode is probably going to be a bit boring because as I say, it's just getting to the birthday. That's the bit we're excited about. We're just getting everyone's skills ready for aging up tomorrow. Yay! I know you're tired, but it's shapes time. Uh, get in the sink. That didn't work. In the sink. There we go. Bonding time with mom. Doing some blocks. Their relationship. Their relationship should be way higher because she spends more time with her mom than she does with her dad but for some reason she's still daddy's girl so i was the same i think when i was a toddler but now i'm like more of a mommy's girl even though i'm in my 20s and i probably shouldn't be in either but we just we get on more i do love my dad though he's just a bit i don't know how to put it intense and i'm silly so <laughs> now you're hungry oh my god what oh gita died oh no and Dennis, who I didn't know we knew, but Dennis, Kim and Gita have passed away. That is quite sad. Um, no, we don't need to feed the child, we need to feed you. Have some of that. Om nom nom. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Jasmine. Just trash up the place. I can't even do anything about it unless I go out there, which I cannot be bothered doing. I'm also hoping to save up some money to move them out into probably Newcrest. I'm gonna sort of pretend that that's an up and coming area for families sort of just outside of the city. And uh, I think it'd be a good place for these guys to move to even though Macy loves living in an apartment. It's just not super family friendly, sadly, especially if I'm planning on uh, making another baby, which is what I'm gonna do. Not that Macy knows that. <laughs> Are you done? No? Come on. Come on. Oh, so close, little one. And then you can go to bed, I promise. 
Come on. Mom, shut up. Okay, cool. We got a promotion to mixologist. Well done, Abe. Hey, there we go. Bedtime. And you, sir. Um, you just got upset about trash in the hallway. I get that. You can clean that up. Do you, sir, have to bake me a cake? Yes, you do. Um, you, let's, but, 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 no, no, sir, no. Uh, let's see. I want to make a. Ooh. Okay, so the best one we can make is strawberry. So we're gonna go make a strawberry cake. Off you go. And they, we got a cake. And you, sir, need to add candles and clean up. There we go. And put that in the fridge. And that's all sorted for tomorrow. And then we're gonna try for a baby. Yes! What do you want? Now we're not getting a puppet theatre and you want to try for a baby? Yes! Thank Jeebus, because that's what we've got here. You want to buy a dishwasher and give someone an apartment key? Nope. Well, dishwasher is an okay one. Baby time! Fingers crossed, guys! I'm not going to do a pregnancy test. I'm not going to check. We're just going to let magic happen and see what happens because. Oh, I forgot they're on a ley line. Oopsies! Um, this is Jensen Twins. Yay! That's what we wanted. Um, but my story for it is going to be that uh, Macy, quite happy just having the one child, but she's been a little bit ill recently, like a little bit of a cold, and uh, you know, that's sort of possibly messed up with certain medications that she takes to prevent having more babies. And uh, Abe isn't particularly bothered one way or another. He does want to have a big family but he doesn't really mind if it happens now or later sort of thing. I do actually have backstories for them as to why they have those sorts of views on life I think which I will divulge in the next episode once I've uh, sort of written them out a bit better and planned them out a bit more and don't sound so silly when I'm saying it. No we're not going to search for vampires. What? What's this one? No we're not getting a chef station. You have some strange demands my friend. And I suppose you're not actually tired, so have some meatballs for breakfast, because that's normal. Yay! And then we're going to go through our party! Woohoo! Age up some babies! Right guys, we are back, and first of all, we're aging up little Matt. And then we'll be aging up his brother, so let's see what happens here. Woo! Whoop! Oh, I have to pick his stuff, don't I? Ha ha ha. I've added them to the family, I believe, to make my life a little bit easier. So, he's got mental one, creative two, motor one, and social two, and he was quite clever. He was inquisitive as a toddler, so I'm gonna make him... I think I'll make him a geek. I think that'll be quite cute. Oh, he's got very high pitched voice. And then we need to add more birthday candles before anything else happens. Go, go, go! Cool. And then we will get you over here. Teleport. And get you to help him bath the candles because apparently Abe doesn't know him. So in the meantime, apparently we have a birth- Wah! Wah! Come here! Let's uh, try to calm down because apparently he's angry. Go do some dadding. Come on, little guy. Aubrey's having a great time playing with her nightlight. Come on, dude. Uh oh. There we go. Whew! That was a bit weird. She's gonna help him blow out the candles if this stops freezing. We also have Raj here because I thought, you know, his mum's dead, so we should invite him. Yay! Oh dear. These are some interesting glitches, aren't they? Age up, kid! Uh oh! Let's try this again. I hope he doesn't turn into a teenager because that'd be awkward. 
Yay! Okay, cool, finally. So, much level one, creation, blah, blah, blah. He was silly, so I think I'll have him. I think I want him a social. I think he'd be a bit of a social butterfly. And he'd be a goofball. There we go. Oh, definitely with that outfit. Looking fabulous. Add some candles. And last but not least, the reason we are here Aubrey's birthday! Yay, we got some gifts. Come on. Aubrey, Aubrey, come on. Age of your child, woman. I'm gonna need a quick screenshot of this though. Oh my god, look at that face. It's, it's amazing. I love that face. <laughs> Uh, I think that will have to be the screenshot to be honest. Uh, quickly into dad mode. Beautiful. Someone just farted as well so that was nice of them. Woohoo! And she got things as well and she also got the happy toddler thing which apparently the boys didn't get maybe. I don't know that was weird. And she's gonna be creative, like her mom. And oh my gosh, I can't remember what trait she had. Ah, I think it was clingy or charm or something. Um, I think she would be. Maybe a bookworm. I think bookworms are quite cute or cheerful. Hmm. Would she also be a geek? Because she is kind of geeky. Maybe perfectionist as well. Yeah, we're going to go perfectionist. She wants everything to be perfect all the time. Sounds very much like her. And I will fix the children in Cass as well. So everyone have cake. Uh, there's no such thing as like call to meal? Okay. Take some pieces of cake. Yay, cake. Yay, cake for everyone. Um, have Sims dance at the same time? I don't think we have any music, so let's just see if I can cheat this. Try to get a good birthday. Uh, da, 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 da. Electronics. I just need some music please. Let's do turn on to backyard or work fine. And then dance together. Yay! Come on guys, you can do this for me, please. Ah! Oh, we only got silver. Jeez, guys. Oh well. Still good. We need to take these little kitty winks into cast in a second and see what we're dealing with. And then I will fix them off camera. I wonder if we have a pregnant lady. She doesn't seem to be suffering anything. Oh, all the parents having great dancing time. Look at that. It's beautiful. Let's quickly go into cast and see what we're dealing with then. So this is our little Aubrey. She looks super cute. I actually think she's quite pretty. So I think she's got a mama's eyes or a daddy's eyes even. Let's see what colored eyes does daddy have. Oh, he has green. And mama has, yep, yeah, she's got mama's eyes. She's got a mix of the skin tone. She's got mama's hair color. She probably got maybe a dad's nose. I don't really know. It's a bit flatter than a mom's, so. Anyway, she's so cute. Uh, let's check out the two boys as well. So this is Matt. Looks quite like his dad, I'd say. Oh, might have to fix his uh, jawline there a bit. That's a little bit receding. And then this is Darren, who I'd say is more like his mum. Uh, let's maybe take off some of the face stuff so we can see what we've actually got. 
Isn't that cute? Not bad. Kind of like pointy features, maybe a bit elfy. So I'll quickly fix them and then come back and show you them again. <laughs> so in a second guys. Okay, so I finished doing the remodeling, the modifying, I don't even know, makeovers, that's what I'm trying to think of. So this is little Aubrey, she's still got her like blue and pink thing going on from when she was little. She has quite a few outfits because I just think she's really cute, all in the same sort of scheme, all the little cutesy cutesy outfits. So that's her and then we have Matt who I've given sort of like a nerdy look and uh, I'll show you some more of his like outfits. So this is like his everyday and he's got his little glasses on, it's like tidy but you know little boy kind of hair so it's not super tidy but it's more tidy than his brothers and I've kept with all of his blue colour so we can uh, you know differentiate the two and then we have Darren with his red scheme and he's got like his messy hair and his like ripped jeans his mismatched socks so silly sort of goofball kind of look and he's into football and sports so I'm having a bit more of a sporty one and then it's like ripped clothes again so oh I didn't do his swimming. We'll do that quickly. So we'll get rid of your glasses. Sorry dude, you're not having them. And as for your swimming trunks, there we go. Red. Sorted. So that's him and I forgot to show Aubrey's other clothes because I was too busy showing her full everyday outfits. So formal wear, she's got two different formal wears, very formal and then just like cutesy little cardigan and floral skirt and then she's got her very colourful sportswear, sleepwear, uh, party wear and she has two swimming costumes because I couldn't decide they were both cute so yep that is the children and back to gameplay okay so I actually took a small break I say small it's like five hours ago uh, that I finished recording the last bit but um so the audio might have changed because I thought I've edited what I'd filmed in between and uh, noticed that the gameplay audio in the background wasn't there so I've edited that a bit but I just came back into the game now I noticed the little Matt was cleaning up this mess which I'm pretty sure he made as a toddler or his brother made as a toddler but I just thought that was really cute and uh, we're gonna have little I nearly called her Riley then because she looks very like Riley we're gonna have Aubrey uh, come over and she's going to oh help fix bad relationship oh it's bad relationship with his mom Oh, let's see what we can do about that. Oh, and then he wants to play. That's pretty cute. And we have uh, Darren's playing over here. I think he just hit himself in the head. So, that was good. But yeah, I just want to have um, Aubrey sort of become closer with the two boys for now. And the rest of this part, which is only going to be like... I don't know, ten more minutes? of game play and then I'll have to end the video or I'll have a super long video but yes oh communication levels two and she can watch some tv on the computer so it's cool <laughs> but um yeah I just wanted to get these guys to know she's a bit better. she's very playful don't die on me woman um tell a goofy story talk about school how is their relationship so they're not quite friends yet. Oh yeah, I didn't check these things. So she has auric conflict for resolution and responsibility. Her empathy is going down, which isn't the best. She has emotional control, control sorry, and responsibility. And he has emotional control and conflict resolution, but not much. Uh, I'm pretty sure Darren's going to be a bit of a wild child. Oh, they did both get the happy child letter, so that's good. Um, I will move them back into their parents' house after this episode. Oh look, there's a kitty! <laughs> underneath the table just hiding back there but uh yeah so i just wanted to get these guys a little bit closer because these are going to be like her first school friends and uh maybe future love interests perhaps one of them we'll see oh are they they're getting closer so that's good she's not really close with darren which isn't the best she's so close with her dad they're like best friends <laughs> Uh, as for these two, he's close with his brother and his dad, but whoa, he does not like his mom. I don't know why he doesn't like his mom. And it won't let me click on Darren. Why won't it let me click on Darren? Oh, he's talking with his mom. That's nice. Oh, there we go. It's just being laggy. And he's uh, close with his mom and his dad, so and very close with his brother. So that's cute. They're all good friends. Yay. What's this? Dancing. <laughs> Oh, 
Our name of getting to know each other. I think Macy's just so pretty. It's just strange. Is that a congratulating him or something? So she needs to pee really bad. Go pee, woman, and then eat. And you, where is they gone? Boys, where are you? There we go. You can come get to know him a bit better, perhaps. It's just randomly gonna go play with the sink. That's cool. I wash hands and then dancing. <laughs> All obsessed with dancing. Ah, but yeah, I'm excited to have them as children now and be able to do more with them and work on their character values and such. It's gonna be a bit more fun and work on friendships and you know have all the different mood swings that they can go to. I think it'll be quite fun. Tease about bravery? What? That seems weird. I'm not gonna do that. Why are you bullying him? Oh, make fun of Adam. Oh, okay, we're not bullying him. That's fine. Tell a gross joke. Level three! She's amazing! Is it her that's amazing? Yeah, okay. And the boys are okay as well, so they won't do terribly at school, hopefully. Thanks, Abe! Cleaning up the place. Ask for advice. Ooh, okay. Advice about wash. Okay. Uh, I got a present that I think is dumb. I want to trade it with a friend or give it back. Can I do that? Oh, that present must be you. Be grateful. Manners have increased. Empathy's decreased. Let's see. Oh, her empathy's not the best. We're gonna have to maybe work on that. Because I wanted her to be quite a good kid. Like, and I imagine Matt would be quite a good kid and then Darren's probably gonna be like the crazy rebel -y kid. Thought of my plan. Kind of rude on your birthday as well, kid, to be like, oh, I got a present I didn't like. Get used to it. Once you're an adult, you get plenty of presents that you don't like. Except socks. Everyone loves socks. They're practical. <laughs> oh yeah, I can actually add the kids to the group. Oh, I can only add two of the kids to the group. Unless I can unlock anything. Can I unlock another space? Yep. Yay! Let's add the children's. Oh. And then we have play date sorted. And where's the other kid? Why am I not seeing it? Do you not know Darren? What? Okay. Let's do. Convince to quit play date. No! Talk about school. Come on. Now can I add him? There we go. Cool. That's better. So now when I do play date, they'll actually all go on the play date and it'll be dead good. It'll be awesome. I'll not make friends. Ah, I can probably actually get rid of some of the parents from the play date group and have the kids have their own group as well. I think I might do that. Let's see. Can we join another group? Uh, it's not like adventurous thing, is there? So, oh gosh, now my brain's like, what do we call this group? I'll have to come up with a name, or if you guys want to come up with a name and let me know, then feel free. There's like no children in this town. What the heck? Um, requirements, age, child, and we'll put teen. So when they age up, it doesn't ruin it. Um, What do they like to do? We need to go for kids' activities. Uh, play with toys. Uh, play on playground equipment. We'll do like be friendly and stuff, you know, typical nice things. Be friendly. Maybe do their homework would be good. <laughs> Just as like trying to be sneaky. Um, yeah, we'll do two. And then we'll leave some blank. 
for future um i might just call it like adventures out there or something because that's in up and i think it's super cute and i can't remember what the like thing was called so adventure what is that? Um, what looks adventure-y? I suppose a rocket ship. There we go. Woo! So now the kids have a little group together as well, so I can just have them come hang out and do homework and things. Great! I feel like Macy isn't pregnant, which is just a shame, even. So I might have to... What is with this handshaking thing? Is this like congratulating him on his birthday maybe? Is that a thing? Did they add that? Uh, I don't know why they keep doing this handshaking thing. It's cool, but I don't get it. Let's see, is it in this one? Sure what that is. I might have to keep an eye out. See if it comes up again. Oh, I said advice. Oh, um, some kids at school were being mean to one of my friends. I wanted to help, but I didn't know what to do. What do you think I should have done? Step in and stand up for your friend, which affects conflict resolution, or stay out of it and console your friend afterwards. Yeah. Ooh, it's Matt though. I feel like he's not standoffish. I feel like he'd stay out of it. Yeah, we'll stay out of it. So empathy's gone up. But conflict resolution's gone down. Which isn't bad, so he's still okay. We can fix we can we can fix it. It'll be fine. They might have like a brotherly thing anyway, so Oh, she's getting pretty tired. What's this? A welcome member to Playdate. Hello, hey, welcome. Hey, Quimble. Ah, okay, that's what that is. Right, that makes a lot more sense. And Paula Lopez just gonna go dance on her own. That's okay. Has she met the beaters? Yeah. So that's good. So everyone's finally met each other, which is great. Oh, Kita, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, I imagine Raj's relationship didn't improve. Never mind. Oh, we know Zoe apparently. Oh, could we do some like, matchmaking with Zoe and Raj? I think that'd be quite fun. Ooh. Yeah, I think I might do that. Yeah, dance on level two. Well done, guys. Um, you're gonna take this cake home, and everyone's gonna return home, and I'll return the boys back to their house. Dancing. Um, and sell this stuff. Yeah, I'll sell it next time. So yes, I will quickly go home. Manage worlds, sort all that jazz out, and uh, meet you back at the house. Okay, so everyone's back home. We did a very quick renovation, so she has a new bed and she has the activity table. And uh, I'm gonna actually send her to sleep because she has school tomorrow. I'm gonna get these two to try for a baby again because it didn't work. Go on, guys, get that baby making. And um, once we've got them to try for the baby, I'll probably end the episode. And it's a bit choppy and a bit weird, but. Yeah, I will run out of time if I go over anymore. It was probably slightly over anyway. Um, and then I will start recording probably the next episode or 100 Baby Challenge. I haven't quite decided which one to do. Or Life of Riley because I've got to get back into that at some point. Um, by the next episode, as I've said, I want to possibly think of moving them to a house in like the suburbs just outside of San Machuno into Newcrest. Um, which might require some slight money cheats, but I'm Meh, I'll try I'll try figure it out so it doesn't and um, just make them like a small little two bedroom family home with enough space for a possible third child third child <laughs> I meant to say second child but they are on a ley line that's a possibility of twins there so hey go to bed but um yeah so they've tried for baby we'll see what happens with that in the next episode and uh, thank you very much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please peace Here's the thing. <laughs> Please feel free to leave a like or comment, tell me what you'd like to see, uh, tell me what you've enjoyed or anything else.
constructive criticism is allowed as long as it's constructive and not just negative and also uh feel free to subscribe if you're new oh she's having a problem i forgot to get her a light is there a monster no she's just awake anyway um so bye guys and see you in the next video